It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for tomorrow, today, whenever. We're just going to see what comes up. This reading is not sign specific, and it is not time specific, really. But I feel, I feel like this is very soon, whatever this is, it's very, very, very soon. I feel as though things are, something bright is coming, something bright, okay? Um, I'm not sure what it is, but I, I see this brightness, okay? Um, something is about to burst, okay? Um, <laughs> Wow, something bright is coming. We got the star card. Stars shine bright. Okay. So yeah, this is this is a something bright. This is this is a hope, a, a wish being fulfilled. This is a wish being granted. This is wish fulfillment. This is a renewal. This is this is a time of peace. It's like somebody has made a wish. It's and it's like Dreams really do come true, okay? Your wish is about to be fulfilled. That's what this is. Seven of Swords reversed. Now, some sort of, this is somebody getting caught or something being revealed. Okay. Something is about to be revealed that was hidden. Now we got the moon card. So, this is something that was hidden is about to be revealed. I mean, I can't. thank you, God, for this gift. That's all that I can say. And, and you notice you may be thanking God for this gift. Thanking God for this gift. Somebody may be coming back, okay? Somebody may be coming back or, or, or something like that. This is a gift. Something is going to be revealed that has been hitting. The truth is about to be coming out. It can't be hidden anymore. The Hierophant. So this is divinely guided, okay? Somebody's faith, somebody's ability to believe in a higher power, their, their, their ability to believe and have faith. It's like their, their prayers have been answered. Somebody's prayers have been answered. This is God, the Pope, higher power. So somebody's prayers have been answered. Somebody, you know. Now this could also be leaving as well. So now we have Aquarius. We have Pisces and Cancer. And we have Taurus. I feel as though a higher power is stepping in. And something that you didn't see coming is coming and it was the answer to your prayers the somebody's prayers are about to be answered thank you thank you thank you thank you and that's what thank you thank you thank you thank you seven of cups king of wands could be dealing with the aries leo sagittarius this person's taking action Making a complex decision. Really been thinking about it. Somebody has been really thinking about what they should choose. What option is the best? What should I do? What is, what is, what is the best option for me? And it's like they've received the answer. Okay. They've received the answer and they're going to take action. It's like they're, they're coming. 
They're coming. Queen of Swords. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person has been investigating, doing their homework, um, looking at things from a new perspective, uh, bettering themselves. This person has been working on bettering themselves and working on their spirituality. The the other person. Okay, we got somebody. This person is about ready to, is about ready to who come in and sweep somebody away, do something. This person has been brushing up on their skills. Waiting, working on their spirituality, having faith, just sitting back and waiting. That's what I see this person as doing. Now we got the moment of decision, the two of wands. We got that moon again. Full moon. The full moon, the full moon has given somebody the enlightenment that they need somebody is making a decision the two of wands it's like they're at the crossroads and they're making that choice they're making that decision and it looks like they're saying I, I just happen to really be focused on this bye 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 Bye-bye. Maybe somebody has said bye-bye. Somebody has said bye-bye for good. Strength reversed. Somebody is feeling defeated maybe even sick maybe even sick to their stomach no strength ill I feel like this is some sort of illness overwhelmed ten of wands absolutely overwhelmed with burden really burdened down by this weight that they are carrying. They're carrying some sort of heavy burden or baggage and it's tied to them. It's tied to them. And it's like they have this burning desire to release it. They know they have to release it. They can't carry it with them forever. So this, we have somebody here that is really thinking about going back and healing a situation. Or they're thinking about healing or they're thinking about wish fulfillment. They're really, really, really thinking, put it that way. But they need to have courage. And there's a lack of courage here. But they are very, very, very overwhelmed with this baggage, this burden that is... It's like it's burning them. It's, it's really, really burning them. Maybe they burned another person. And now they're carrying the weight. They're carrying the weight of their actions. So somebody is about to take action. They may be leaving or they may be coming back. That Seven of Swords could go either way. Now we have a buy over here, so somebody could be leaving. Now this moon, is there something unseen? Okay, there's something below the surface. There's all is not as it seems. This person is sitting sitting back. This person is waiting. This person is very intellectual. This person um, has faith, is working on their spiritual journey. This person um, is very optimistic. This person is a believer by the looks of things. This person may have made a decision to say goodbye because this bye is here. Having faith in a higher plan, having believing that there must be a reason for this, right? There must be a reason. I'm just going to say goodbye. Turning their back. We got somebody here that is turning their back on somebody. And it's like this person... 
Five of Cups is grieving. This person is grieving, having regrets. This is person, this person, somebody, this person is regretting their poor decision. They're regret, regretting their poor decision. <laughs> the world card. This is a completion. Lesson learned. Somebody has learned a lesson. A phase has ended. Okay, a chapter has ended. Something is ending. Somebody has the key. Somebody is unlocking a new door. That is the key that unlocks a new opportunity. It also locks a door. So, we have a lesson. Somebody has learned a lesson. This is a completion. Somebody has made a decision to complete this phase. They have, they have, this person over here has, has completed. This is like, this is over. It's done. It's done. It's done. This person is grieving. This person is having regrets. They may be hoping. They may be hoping. Okay. Maybe this person is thanking God. This is this person is very thankful, very thankful. So somebody is very thankful, or this person is praying. Okay, so it feels like, and I do see prayers here. I definitely see some prayers here. It feels like somebody's prayers are being answered. There's a new opportunity for love. This is leaving the past hurts behind and moving towards the new opportunity. So somebody is moving towards a new opportunity for love. The Empress reversed. There's been some sort of loss. The Empress reversed this in this circumstance. I feel like we have this person that is no longer nurturing a connection. There's no nurturing here, there's no growth. Somebody may have been dealing with a selfish individual who chases people you know this person doesn't know their value this person is easy the empress reverse is so a easy woman that we talked about yesterday we talked about her yesterday the empress in reverse is a woman that doesn't know her value she's easy she chases after men you know she involves herself in third party situations she's selfish she needs attention she has a big ego um She's bitter. She's lonely. Um, she's not available for love. Okay, she's not very abundant because she doesn't know her value. She just doesn't know her value. So we have somebody here that Maybe regretting their poor choices for not valuing somebody. That could be the case as well. That just popped into my mind. No, that's a different line, but that's what, boom, just came to me. Now this person, this, this empress in reverse, it's like this. We got somebody here who's been waiting. Maybe they were dealing with a person that was focused on this, this easy woman. <laughs> this little hole, okay? We got a hole. Okay, so maybe we, we got somebody here that comes to their senses, you know, and they decide to uh, end that situation with the hoe. Okay? 
So that's what it looks like to me. We have somebody here that is regretting their poor decisions and they're hoping that they can come back. Perhaps the hoe that they were dealing with didn't really want a relationship. Just wanted to be alone, wanted to be single, was just looking for sex or whatever. And it's like now this person wants a stable, wants stability, want, sees that the person that they fucked up with is solid, stable, secure, glowing, self-sufficient, has money. Doing just fine without him. Page of Cups reverse. They've turned now the person that this person is doing so good, they're not they don't want it anymore. They don't want it anymore. It's like the page of cups. No, I don't. No. It's over. It's done. Somebody has said goodbye. Now this person wants to come back. Because somebody has, has said goodbye. And perhaps this woman is the same woman. It could go many ways that didn't know her value. Didn't know her worth. And she has changed. She learned her lesson about being that easy woman. She learned her lesson about not knowing her value and her worth. And now she knows it. She suffered some pain of rejection for being that easy woman. But now she knows her value and now she knows her worth. And this person, <laughs> I don't know, maybe it, maybe it, this isn't somebody coming back. This could be somebody could, brand new that is coming. Okay, this could be somebody brand new for this person that knows their value and knows their worth. This person is self-sufficient, doing very, 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 very well. Somebody is about to take action and, and basically sweep them right off their feet. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is lonely. The Queen of Swords is lonely. Not really looking for love. But there's a higher power involved. And even though you may not see it, even though you're not looking for it, even though, you know... You're just doing your work. You're just focusing on other things. You're just... Going through an awakening of some sort. You know, you're just doing your thing. You're, you're, you're not even focused on love. You're not looking for it. There's something you don't see that is coming. And it's love. It's love. Could be with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. The King of Cups can be any sign. This is somebody that is emotionally balanced and sees an opportunity for love. They do. And it looks like they're about to take action. This person is caring. This person is feeling. This person is very romantic. And they may just be the answer to your prayers. So I feel like somebody's prayers are about to be answered. It's like the weight is about to be lifted. We have a very independent person that is, is, it's almost like this person has evolved. This person went from being a hoe <laughs> to knowing her value, knowing her worth. Or it could be somebody has, you know, ended something with the hoe and they're going after somebody 
who knows their value and knows their worth. I mean, this could thousands of people watch this. I could keep going all day with this one reading. There is a major completion here. This is the end of a cycle. It could be the end of a cycle of loneliness. Goodbye, loneliness. A higher power has stepped in. Here you go. Good luck.